Okay, here we are trying to get the glass to sing again. I finally got to work. What you can do if you're having problems, take a little white distilled vinegar, clean your fingertip off with it. Then I put some on the paper towel, wipe the edge of the glass a little bit. And lo and behold, it helped immensely. What happens, it gets the grease off of your fingers, the natural greases and oils, cuts them off a little bit. So after you do that, you want to just dip your finger in the water, get your finger slightly wet. What happens is the molecules of glass are vibrating against each other. As you drag the little bit of water, the molecules across the top of the glass with your finger, at the right speed, you're reaching the frequency that these molecules of glass resonate at. Now, I can't do it, but people with a very strong, high voice, and you find the exact right note of a glass, can take your voice and break a glass like this, a wine glass or a stemware glass. But notice, this is why I said some people think it's it's a beautiful sound, some people think it's annoying. I'm setting up resonance in the glass molecules to get the sound. Resonance can be a very helpful thing. You can increase amplitude or signal strength for something. If you overdo it, just like someone using their voice that knows how to do it to break glass. Um, bridges have been broken in the past. Uh, by the wind or other things, getting them vibrating at just the wrong frequency. I guess the right frequency, it's wrong because it destroys the bridge and can kill people if they're on the bridge or under the bridge. Because you set up their resonance. So resonance can be used as a weapon. Um, most of the time it's used to increase signal strength. Again, I'm still going to, not today, but uh, another day, show you uh, some resonance on guitar and some frequency changes and things like that. So you can do this yourself at home. If you have stemware or wine glass, just put a little bit of water in it. Notice you can also still, like in the other video, here when you're resonating, and I just spilled the water everywhere, you can change the pitch of the resonance by how much water is in there. So, more water you get a higher pitch. Less water you'll be getting a lower pitch. Seems to work easier for me with less water to a point. I think it's the it's easier for my finger to set up the resonance of that frequency. Let's see if I can do it with less. You can play with these on your own at your own house. See what you can get them to do. Actually, I think it sounds backwards. It sounds like the pitch is getting higher as we put less water in it. But again, we're having trouble doing it, getting this to work. White vinegar, clean your fingertip off. Um, clean the edge of the glass off. Then get your fingertip wet with just a little bit of water. You don't want it too wet, but you want it somewhat wet. You also have to play with the pressure you're putting out. You don't want to put a lot of pressure and break the glass and cut your finger. You're not going to get sand out of it anyway. If you do it too light, you don't get any sound. But you, if you find just the right sweet spot to get that sound going. So, that's it for today's video. Uh, I'll catch you in another Mr. Cox's science, supercharged science and animal videos.